one dummy Bante. Uh, we are ready for your teachings. May we invite Bante to start the teaching, please? Sadu, sadu, sadu. Good morning, everybody. Let's start our Abhidhamma study. Reciting Namo Tassa three times together. Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Sama Sambuddhasa Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Sama Sambuddhasa Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Sama Sambuddhasa Okay, welcome to Abhidhamma study lesson 13. This lesson is uh, about a cause and effect relationship. So we have studied some parts of the Sita chapter, the chapter on consciousness. There we have finished about the, the general knowledge and the unwholesome consciousness rootless consciousness, and also sense pure, beautiful consciousness. After that, we come to study about the cause and effect relationship. Although this is not mentioned in this chapter, usually mentioned in the chapter of uh, the part three, which is called the Wittimoda, chapter five. So, in order to understand properly how the wholesome consciousness and unwholesome consciousness are working to generate their results, so we should know about the cause and effect relationship. Actually, when I'm trying to prepare this lesson, many information about these topics of cause and effect relationship come into my mind according to Abhidhamma. But too much information makes it difficult to understand properly for beginners. So I'm trying to, to select out only some information and visit basic information to make clear for our members of Abhidhamma study in this level. So as we, as I has mentioned in the, at the beginning of this study, in order to understand properly, we have to go step by step. So this lesson about the cause and effect relationship will be only an introduction to find out or to relate the connection of cause and effect. This means the, uh, we have studied unwholesome consciousness to relate the unwholesome causes of action. And also we have studied sense pure, beautiful consciousness, beautiful wholesome consciousness, which can generate the whole uh, pleasurable results. So to relate the the wholesome manner of the 10 basis of meritorious deeds and, and wholesome causes of action. Then now we, we were trying to make the relationship, uh, we are trying to study about the cause and effect relationship in this lesson. So let's continue. So to understand properly, we have to we have to go back to the previous understanding in the previous lesson. So here, this slide is taken from lesson nine, the review about the uh, mentality, the process of mentality, how it works or how it arises in the individual. What we say, the individual is the combination of mental process and physical process. So come together or sometimes they, they are running themselves uh, separately. 
So it is called the beings of individual. So in this case, the process is given at the starting from the, the death of the previous life in order to show the, the transition of the life from previous past to the present life and present life to the future. So in this way, uh, getting new life, getting new life is pending the samsara. This is the way how we are running in the samsara. So we have already passed the past life. Now we are in present life, starting from the rebirth up to the death of this present life. And if we have the condition to continue, we will be reborn in any realms as a beings of that realms. So that is running in the samsara. In this way, during the life, we will find, we can find the unwholesome and also wholesome they, that can generate the future result, uh, which bring the potency, the, the, the unwholesome and wholesome, they keep the potency to generate the, the resulting. The resultant is here, you see the, the, the starting point of our, our life is the resulting which is called the rebirth. But this and the, the rebirth linking consciousness is a kind of resulting consciousness. So that resultance is generated by the past karma. So past karma is caused and then present life, the rebirth of this present life is resultance. So we, we see, we, we have done we had done the present uh, past uh, karma in the past. We has done karma in the past. As a result of that, we were born in this present life and continue as long as the past karma generate the, the resulting. Our life will continue. We don't know how many years. And during the life, we perform, we commit the unwholesome and also we perform the wholesome. These are action, which can be the cause of the next life. Okay, now this this is just to aware, just to remember the the cause and effect relationship in the life con life on the say the uh, life sequence of in the sequence of the life past, present, and let's continue about the two types of resorting. So among the, here, among the, the mind movements of the life, we, we see here the resorting, sometimes is functional, uh, wholesome, unwholesome. This will be, Bawanga are also the resorting, types of the resorting consciousness. So, among these two, these resulting consciousness, uh, resultants, we can find the two types of resultant. First one is Bhattisandhi Vipaka, as I said, the, at the beginning of the life, uh, the, the birth, rebirth linking consciousness, that is Bhattisandhi Vipaka. So any life start by the Vipaka, uh, by the uh, resultant. Then during the life, the body we back up. So we can classify resultant into two. The one is, first one is the very first moment and also which decided what kind of beings. So that is called the Bhattisandhi Vipaka, resultant at rebirth linking. And body we back up is resultant in life or during life, during the course of life. This is called Bodhi Vipaka. So after, after being born as a being, we, uh, we encounter good and bad condition. It means that we get the good and bad result of our, press, our past karma, 
our past karma. So we have done in the past good and bad karma. They generate good and bad result in this life. And also some of the potency of the karma will continue to next life up to the attainment of the Nibbana. So here, uh, the, the statement mentioned in the Comprehensive Manual or Abhidhamma, the characteristic of a full course of action is being a gamma, the potency to, to take on rebirth generation, generating. So here, the emphasis is to take on the rebirth generating roles. So full course of action, so we have said that the Akusala Kamabata, Akusala Kamabata, Aponya um, Kriya Watu, like this. The, the Kama with the full cause, it can generate the rebirth, rebirth in any life, according to uh, it is a good and good and bad. So the full cause of Kam Ashen. In a wholesome case, that will give the rebirth in the Ovu state and full course of action of the wholesome. It's called the wholesome karma that will generate the beautiful life. So, not only giving the rebirth, not only generating rebirth, it can generate the the result in the Duran life too. So at the moment, one commit unwholesome. There are many mind moments, uncountable mind moments, happens only in one second or two seconds like this. So during the life, we we perform, we, we commit unwholesome and we perform the wholesome at the moment is longer than the the, um, the one minute and two minutes like this. So the longer moment has more frequency or my, more mind moments, which contain the potency to generate the rebirth and also to generate the result in the during, uh, result uh, during life. So the second times. It means we are running around the samsara carrying the potency that can produce the rebirth and also that can produce good and bad results during life. Okay, so in this case, let's see the, what is the gamma, the exactly mean the gamma. So gamma, here in this case, the cause, cause refers to the gamma, not the other cause. So cause and effect relationship, in this case, we are trying to emphasize on the cause of the gamma. So gamma means the manifestors of volition, which is called chedana in Pali. So that volition is the, according to the classification of reality, it is a manifestor. Manifestor cannot arise as a single, uh, single things. So it arises with the other manifestors and also consciousness. So leader by the consciousness, it arises in the group. So volition as a manifesto, it also arises along with the, the unwholesome rules or wholesome rules. So when the volition arises, yeah, either uh, unwholesome rules or wholesome rules arise. That's why that we can see when the volition of mental factors arise with unwholesome rules, it is unwholesome gamma. And when the volition arise with the wholesome rules, it is called the wholesome gamma. In this way, the only the mental factors of volition can be classified into wholesome and unwholesome, unwholesome gamma. Uh, so when we say, when we identify the volition as the gamma, the Buddha said the in the Angodra Nikaya and Chaka Nipada, the Chitana Ham Bikawi Kamman Watami, Chiti Dua Kamman Krodi, Kayina Wajaya Manasa. So we perform the action, action by 
physical body of by bubble as a bubble action of the only in the mind. Uh, although it can be divided into three, all of them are caused by their volition, motivated by their volition. So volition is the karma. So the Buddha identified the volition as a karma. Then the volition, that volition drives to commit unwholesome causes of action. So by the uh, force of the volition, a person can commit the unwholesome causes of action, such as the killing, stealing, etc. Then also, he can perform 10 basis of meritorious deed by the uh, force of the volition to donate. So the volition arise along with the wholesome roots. It encourage to, to make the generosity of more, to keep the moral precept in this way. So uh, by the encouragement of the volition, that person perform 10 basis of meritorious deeds or uh, 10 wholesome causes of action. Those are regarded as the wholesome deeds, wholesome deeds. So when the gamma is done, so here, by the encouragement or by the force of the volition, the gamma is done. When the gamma is done, it is ready to generate the resultants, either which is good or bad, and by the support of other condition. So as soon as the gamma is done, it cannot produce. It needs to have the other supporting condition to give or to generate the, the respective resultants. After committing or after performing, committing the unwholesome action or after performing the wholesome action, it is it's become the gamma. The gamma has the potency to produce two types of resultants, as mentioned in the previous slide, the Padisandi Vipaka and Poverty Vipaka. So this is the connection of the gamma cause and the, the resultants, which is called the effect of the gamma. Then, so how the, the gamma or volition arise? So as I mentioned, that the volition as a mental factor is arise with the other mental factors and consciousness here. When the, the, this is any of the unwholesome consciousness, but the consciousness just walk to aware the objects. Its characteristic is to aware the objects. It does not make other things. And when the consciousness arise, along with the consciousness, the mental factor arise together. There, in among the mental factor there is a volition so which can be regarded as a gamma which can and encourage the other mental factors to work properly according to their characteristic so here in this case due to the the greed hatred and delusion so that consciousness can be understood as unwholesome because of these roots and other unwholesome mental factors. And the volition is also regarded as the unwholesome because of the accompanying mental factors. This is called the unwholesome gamma. Then let's continue to the uh, other side of the wholesome. These, these are the, uh, the beautiful Mandel factors, which can those are regarded as a wholesome and also the beautiful. So sometimes it is wholesome, sometimes resultant, and sometimes just functional. But they all are beautiful. So among these, uh, here is we don't need to study in detail in each of the Mandel factors. We will 
study in detail about the Mandel feather in the chapter two. So just to give the information about the beautiful Mandel feathers. So here, how it arises when we we try to perform the wholesome deeds, the consciousness arises in our mental process. This is the consciousness, along with the consciousness, the mental factors accompany. So among that mental factors, there's the volition. This volition is regarded as the wholesome of the beautiful because it arises with the, the mental factor of here, the non-greed, aloba, and non-hatred, adosa, and sometimes it arises with the, the wisdom faculty, which is regarded as the non-delusion. So uh, these three roots are beautiful roots. So this uh, volition can be understood as the, when it is performed the wholesome, the, uh, the wholesome volition or wholesome karma. So this is how the volition arises in the mental process. When the, the person commit the unwholesome, the previous slide there, the volition along with the unwholesome roots arise. It, it has the potency to generate the result. Then here, the, when the, the person perform the meritorious deal or wholesome causes of action, at the moment, the volition with the beautiful mental feathers or wholesome mental wholesome roots arise. This is called the wholesome karma. Then, so after becoming the karma with the potency to generate the resultant, it is ready to generate. So when it's generate the, the resultant, it can be either of the rebirth linking or the result in the in the life result during the, the course of life. Okay, let's see the past types of resultants, which is called the rebirth linking. So there are 19 types of consciousness. Those can be rebirth, rebirth of the, um, the beings, rebirth at the very first moment of, of the consciousness of the life. So there are 19, 19 types. So here is you see the two types of consciousness accompanied by equanimity, two, and eight grade become tens. Then nine material sphere and immaterial sphere, and they together nine. So it become the 19. So you can check in the comprehensive manual or Abhidhamma here. But we will talk about this rebut again in the in chapter three. Okay, let's see. To identify the the rebirth Lincoln consciousness with the with their types. So here, two consciousness. When you if you can remember the classification of the rootless consciousness, 18 rootless consciousness, you can find there are uh, two types of in investigating consciousness. Both of them are accompanied by equanimity. So one is in the a uh, wholesome resultant and the other is unwholesome in the unwholesome resultant. So there are two types of investigating consciousness. Those can perform, perform the rebirth linking function. So when they arise as a, as a rebirth of the beings, so they re, at the beginning of the life, the life it arises and perform the function of rebirth linking. So that can be a descendant. Because they are included in the rootless consciousness, rootless types, they are called the rootless rebirth linking. So it is in Pali, it is called the Ahituka Padisandi. Rootless is Ahituka. Rebirth linking is Padisandi. So Ahituka Padisandi. So rebirth linking, which is no root, is called the rootless rebirth linking. 
So you have to notice this. One is wholesome resort and, and another one is unwholesome resort. Then let's continue since Peel beautiful. So there are eight great resortings. So since we are among the 24, since we are beautiful consciousness, you can find the second group. That is the eight great resort and all since we are a beautiful resort and consciousness with roots. They are, this is called the Kama Sukadi Patisandi. So in order to avoid the so many information, I remove the Bali name. So this is called the Kama Sukadi Patisandi. Then Pine Matrius Peer Resort. They are Ruba Wachara Patisandi because the Ruba Wachara Pine Matrius Peer is Ruba Wachara and Resort is Patisandi. So the rebirth Lincoln consciousness of the Five material Brahma, that is the five material sphere resultants. Then, in the same way, the rebirth Lincoln consciousness of the immaterial sphere Brahma, that is immaterial sphere resultants. In this way, we can find, uh, we can identify 19. Rebirth Lincoln consciousness into their types according to the classification of the realms. And here you can take a note that tens, uh, rootless two, and since we are beautiful resort and eight are regarded as the since we are rebirth, since we are rebirth Lincoln consciousness 10. And five material sphere and immaterial sphere uh, can can be called sublim rebirth collectively. So to identify sensual sphere and then a sublim. So then to classify more. So here the wholesome and unwholesome. So only one types here unwholesome, 12 unwholesome gamma. It can generate unwholesome resort in seven. So one can be rebirth linking, which is the investigating consciousness, unwholesome resort and consciousness. It also here included in this in this group of unwholesome resort. So we can say the unwholesome consciousness, unwholesome gamma, the volition along with the unwholesome consciousness can generate unwholesome resultant is if we don't classify into two the although it is rebirth linking or it is the resultant during life it can be regarded unwholesome resultant seven according to it is kind then the rest are wholesome wholesome resultants so they are generated by their wholesome gamma the volition along with the wholesome consciousness. So since we are wholesome eight, five material sphere, wholesome pi, and immaterial sphere, wholesome four. Altogether, it is regarded as the mundane wholesome 17. The volition along with the, the mundane wholesome 17 consciousness can generate the wholesome resultants. So that wholesome resultant can be uh, 25. Here you see the, the rootless, wholesome rootless resultant eight, since we are root resultant with roots eight. So this is the groove, uh, the second groove of the since we are beautiful consciousness. Then five material sphere resultant five and immaterial sphere resultant four. So this is the cause and effect. This is the, the cause unwholesome consciousness produce the uh, unwholesome resultant. This is the first group of the rootless consciousness. If you can keep the, the, the table in the previous 
slides, previous lesson that will become clear. Then the being the cause, the three groups of wholesome give rise the the four group of resultants because the sensory wholesome consciousness can produce the two types of resultants without roots, rootless or with roots. So in this way, uh, we can understand the cause and effect relationship in the consciousness, among the consciousness. So in this way, the unwholesome gamma 12 or unwholesome consciousness 12 and mundane wholesome 17. So they are the cause and they generate the rebirth in 31 plane of existence. So when the unwholesome gamma works, the that were the person will be reborn in the hopeful state. And then when the mundane wholesome gamma work uh, give give it is resolved, the person will reborn in the higher realms or beautiful realms. So in this way, any of rebirth in 31 plane or existence are generated by the wholesome and unwholesome gamma. Then they also, the karma can also produce the result during the course of existence. So during the life, the good and bad result will be encountered. Then, okay, so in order to classify uh, more detail about the unwholesome, so as I said in previous slides, it is uh, the 12 together. But here I'm going to classify more. So, so you have to select of one consciousness, the chitta rooted in delusion and accompanied by restlessness. Restlessness. So uh, among the 12 unwholesome consciousness, uh, this is the less one. So taking off the less one because it is the weakest. It is the, the weakest consciousness. Weakest unwholesome gamma or weakest unwholesome consciousness. It cannot take the road of generating rebirth. It means the, the, the consciousness of the restlessness that cannot generate the rebirth in any realms. So in any realms mean the, because the unwholesome karma generate in whole state. So uh, this cannot give the rebirth in any whole state. So this is the kind of the karma which cannot generate the rebirth, resultant of rebirth. It can, in other way, we can understand it can generate only the resultant during the life. So this is one kind. So among the 12 unwholesome karma, you have to select a one. Then the other, the, the other 11, so any of the other 11 can generate the unwholesome resultant investigating consciousness. This is the, the rebirth of the woeful state. So that when this unwholesome result of investigating consciousness is generated by any of the other 11 unwholesome consciousness or gamma, the beings will be reborn in four woeful states, any of and four woeful states four of realms. So he will, will be suffer, he or she will be suffer in there as a result of, of any of 11 unwholesome gamma. So we get the two group in the in unwholesome. One is the, the gamma or the consciousness which can generate only the resultant during the life. And the other group can generate both rebirth linking and also it can 
generate the resultant during life. Okay, so because of that, the, those in two groups together, so all 12 unwholesome can generate unwholesome resultant, seven unwholesome resultant in sensual wall. So all together seven in sensual wall, but it can generate the some of the the unwholesome resultants in pine materials wall because uh, they don't have the no consciousness in the brahma wall five material brahma wall there is no a uh, nose consciousness and tongue consciousness and body consciousness so uh, being absent of these three the others so four unwholesome resultant consciousness or unwholesome resultant can be generated in uh, generated by 12 unwholesome gamma in the five material world it means the in the sensuous world uh, all seven unwholesome resultant can be can be generated but in five material world because the absence of nose tongue and body consciousness the rest four consciousness of unwholesome resultant can be generated by 12 unwholesome. So in this slide, to clarify again, there are uh, two, two class of consciousness according to their rule of generating resultants. So one type of the chitta in delusion and accompanied by restlessness. That is one kind. It can generate only the resultant in life, during life. The other 11 can generate the rebirth. So this is two group. And, but for the, the resultant during life, all 12 unwholesome can produce the resultant during life, which is called the Bodhi Vipaka. But according to the realms, it can be different in number because the, the sensual wall, we can have all the sense faculty. So it completes seven unwholesome resort and chitta. And being absent by nose, tongue, and body consciousness for the faculties in five material wall, they are the absent. Okay. Let's continue to the next slide. So this also uh, does not give the new information. It just to identify with the, the table. So here, a uh, resultant in rebirth linking is which is called the rootless rebirth linking. It, it is so according to the types of the consciousness, it is unwholesome resultant only the investigating consciousness accompanied by equanimity. This is uh, the rootless rebirth linking. It, it is generated by 11, one of the 11. So it's the less consciousness in awful state. So according to the realm, it is it can happen only in awful state. And also it generates seven resultants in resultant during life. It is generated by 12 unwholesome gamma. So resultant during the course of existence, but it can generate both in sensual wall and fine material wall. Then this is the slide from lesson five. So here we already studied about the individual. So Pukala, the first one, Dogati Ahituka, Sugati Ahituka. These two are Ahituka Pukala. So among the four putujana, four ordinary person. So for wildlands, uh, two, two individuals are regarded as ahituka. Okay. Then the third one is double rooted, vihituka, and the fourth one, tihituka. So then noble person. 
all noble persons are regarded as the Dihidukha, according to their rebirth Lankan consciousness. So we, we can enumerate nine triple root, rooted individuals. Then if classified, Sika Asika in this way. But here we have to uh, remember among the four Putujana, two are Ahiduka. One is Duhiduka and one is Dihiduka. Together with the, the eight noble person, there are nine triple rooted, nine Dihiduka individual. So let's continue. So here, the, from the beginning, the two rootless individual, they are called in Pali Sukadi and Dogadi Ahiduka in the whole full state. And Sukadi Ahiduka, this is blissful. So blissful, it is good. Then, so to, con to see the, their rebirth consciousness here, this column is for the rebirth consciousness. The rebirth consciousness of Dogadi Ahiduka person is which is the lowest person, which is, that is unwholesome resort and investigating consciousness accompanied by equanimity. So as, as I mentioned in previous slide, that is the, the rebirth of hopeful state. So Dogadi Ahiduka individual can be found in full hopeful state. Okay, let's continue for two, second person. Sukadi Ahiduka, because it is Sukadi is blissful. This person can be found in the human realms and the first Dewa realms, which is called the Chetu Maharaja. Uh, so that types of individual is called the Sukadi Ahiduka. It is Rebirth consciousness is wholesome resorting. So as you know, the human realms and Dewa realms, this is the, the blissful realms. So to be reborn in the blissful realms, there must, the, the cause must be good. So that the wholesome resorting is their rebirth consciousness. The second, the rebirth consciousness of second types of the individual is wholesome resultant. It's different from the first one. Uh, investigating consciousness accompanied by equanimity. So both of them are, uh, both of these rebirth consciousness are, uh, come from the rootless group. So they are rootless individual or uh, rootless patisandi, ahituka patisandi. So to continue the third person, so this is the resultant of sense pure, beautiful, wholesome. Here, uh, the, this become the sense pure resultants accompanied by two roots, accompanied by two roots. So aloba and amoha, but there is no uh, amoha. So the two roots are aloba and adosa, not amoha, which is called the banya. That's why there is only two root person, two rooted person, double rooted person. So three head to kapukala. Then here uh, in the slide, you have to change the three roots. So the person of the nine triple rooted individual. So the rebirth of nine triple rooted individual are the are all together, you know, 13. It can be the sense pure resort and accompanied by three roots. So here all together, sense pure resort and eight. Three root four and two root four. The rebirth of the Dihe Duga must be uh, the three rooted. So the resort and consciousness accompanied by Aloba, Adosa, and also Amoha, which is called the Jnana or knowledge. So this must be Jnana Sampayuta, four. Then, Five material sphere, five and immaterial sphere, four. All together, these are uh, 13, the triple rooted patisandi, or rebirth, triple rooted rebirth. So, tihe duka patisandi. 
So in this way, we understand the individual according to their rebirth consciousness. So that rebirth, this rebirth consciousness are generated by the unwholesome rule, unwholesome cause and wholesome causes. So here the cause is unwholesome. The others individuals are born due to the wholesome cause. So this table are trying to identify unwholesome individual and the want to say that the individual generated by the wholesome. Then let's continue. Gamma and resultant to relate. So as I mentioned in the in previous slides, here the 11 unwholesome gamma except the chitta rooted in delusion and accompanied by restlessness. So 11 can produce the abhaya sandhi, which is called unwholesome resultant investigating consciousness accompanied by equanimity. So revert linking in four woeful state. So just to, to know, we already he kept the, the main causes of the understanding, just, just to identify. So they all together 12, they all 12 can generate the uh, resultant during the course of existence, which is called the Bhavati Vipaga. This is the Bhattisandhi Vipaga. This is the Bhavati Vipaga. So uh, we can classify resultant, resultants of unwholesome into two in this way. This is the uh, unwholesome cause and, and bad result. Then there are four types of wholesome karma, four class of, classes of wholesome karma. So the from the lower to the higher. Here, a uh, duhe duga, a uh, omaka, duhe duga okata, tihe duga omaka, tihe duga okata. So this is the lowest one. When a person perform the meritorious deed uh, without the knowledge, it is called the duhe duga. And also it is, uh, it is surrounded by the unwholesome. So it is omaka, it is inferior. So inferior, but it is wholesome, street wholesome, but inferior is accompanied by only two rules, the exception of the knowledge. This is the lowest one. Then if he, if the wholesome is not surrounded by the, the unwholesome, it is, is surrounded by the wholesome, the, uh, the, the former and the, the the following, the preceding one and following one, both are wholesome. This is regarded as the superior one, but still it is two rules without knowledge, without jnana. So jnana vipyoda, both are jnana vipyoda, but the the first, first class, the, this one is the omaka or inferior is surrounded by the unwholesome because because of that, it is the weakest one. Then, if it is surrounded by the wholesome, the previous one also wholesome, the following one also wholesome. So surrounded by the wholesome, it becomes the, the superior. So the classification of superior and inferior come in this way. Then, here become the, uh, another class is three roots. So, Two rules, two rules are without jnana, without wisdom. And become three rules with the wisdom, the person perform any of meritorious deed with the knowledge or with the wisdom. It is called the three rules. Then if it is surrounded by the unwholesome, it is called the inferior. So still, uh, it can be inferior even if it is by three root, it uh, accompanied by three roots. So then the highest one is with, it is done by three roots. 
And also, it is surrounded by a wholesome, the previous one wholesome, the following one wholesome. So in this way, this, it becomes superior, the, accompanied by three roots. In this way, the wholesome gamma can be uh, classified into four, four class of wholesome gamma. That they also generate a different. So the highest one, the Tiheduga Ogata, it can generate the Tiheduga Bodhisandhi. So there are four rebirth linking consciousness with three roots. So Jnana Sampiyuta, Vipaka, four. And in seven beautiful sensual world, because this is the sensual, uh, sense pure wholesome karma, it, is, it generate only this, only in the seven beautiful sensual world. It cannot generate, it cannot give the rebirth in the Brahma world because the cause is sense, sense pure wholesome. And also for the Pavati Vipaka, it generate altogether 16 resultants during the course of existence. We already mentioned this 16, eight in the rootless and eight in the uh, wholesome resultant with roots. Then, yes, second group and third group, they, they have the same potency to generate the rebirth linking. Do you hear Dugabati Sandy? So for rebirth linking consciousness, sorry, here, this must be two root. Do you hear Dugabati Sandy? This must be two root. Then, uh, so they also the same realms in seven beautiful sensual world. Then, but when they produce the resultant during the course of existence, they cannot produce the full, uh, full resultant consciousness with three roots. So that's why only 12 resultant can be generated by the, these two class of, of wholesome deeds, excluding four great resultant accompanied by knowledge. So because uh, even though this is three do, it is surrounded by the uh, unwholesome, it is weak. Because it is weak, it cannot generate the uh, knowledge. Then the last group here, the weakest one, the Duhe Duga Omaka, but it is wholesome. It is weakest wholesome. The weakest wholesome can produce Ahe Duga Sugadi Bodhisandhi. Because of the, the cause is, because the cause is wholesome, it must be Sugadi. So blissful realm, that is the, according to the class of the consciousness, the wholesome resultant investigating consciousness accompanied by equanimity. So this, is, this is called the Kama Sukati Ahiduka Patisandi, Ahiduka Patisandi. So it can be found in human realms and first Dewa realms, but not in the other Dewa realms. So this type of wholesome consciousness can produce the, the resultant during the course of existence is only eight. So rootless wholesome resultant can be uh, generated by the, the weakest one. So in this way, uh, we can understand the cause and effect relationship in the, uh, in the consciousness. And when the consciousness, unwholesome consciousness arise, it can bring what types of resorting? And when the sense pure wholesome consciousness arise, and it can bring what types of resorting? And the others, the, the five materials pure wholesome, and their resorting are very clear. So they produce the, the same resorting, the same types of resorting. So we don't need to explain it again. So this is the, the cause and effect relationship in the uh, consciousness. And the, we can understand after study 
the conscious next. Okay, so uh, here I'm going to stop my explanation in this lesson 13. We will continue to question and answer session. Thank you, Bante. Can Bante lead us in uh, making aspiration and sharing of marriage, please? Okay. So let's make aspiration and share our marriage. Please follow me. The Imina Punya Kamina Imina Punya Kamina Mami Bala Samagamo Mami Bala Samagamo Saddam Samagamo Hodu Saddam Samagamo Hodu Yava Nibana Patia Yava Nibana Patia Idami Bunyam Idami Bunyang Asawa Kaya Wahang Hodu Asawa Kaya Wahang Hodu Idami Bunyam Idami Bunyang Nibana Sapateo Hodu Nibana Sapateo Hodu Mama Bunya Bagam Mama Bunya Bagam Saba satanam baje mi. Saba satanam baje mi. Be sabi. Be sabi. Be samam. Me samang. Punya bagam lavandu. Punya bagam lavandu. Sadu, sadu, sadu. Thank you very much, Bante, for your teachings and also your valuable time. Till we meet on next weekend, may all be well and happy always. Sadu, sadu, sadu. sadu, sadu, sadu.